Today I'm going to film a tack room tour, so if you've watched my um, stable or yard tour, um, you'll have seen most of this, um, but so that you don't have to go through and watch the whole video, I thought I'd do just a dedicated tack room tour. Um, so this is my tack room at home, everything that's in here is the stuff I use on a daily basis or um, that either gets taken with us to big competitions when we go into state and stuff like that. Um, and then all of the stuff that I use on a, um, like when we go out for competitions or when we go out for lessons, that all lives in the float all the time. Um, so this stuff here is either my everyday stuff or the stuff that is saved for the big interstate competitions. So anyway, I will show you around my tech room. <laughs> find it stays pretty dust free um, it's not near the stables um, and then when I use the leaf blower it goes out that way so it doesn't get too dusty um, so we didn't bother with the doors um, so anyway so just we've got a clock um, and then some certificates just hanging on the wall um, and then and dad built all of this and designed it all for me as well like he did my stables which you will see in the yard tour if you've watched that video um, so coming in we just have a bench here which again dad sort of put in a bit last minute but it's really handy um and just a sink um that i wash my bits and um boots if they get really sandy and i don't want it all in the sitting in the drain in the wash bay um and then i've got just a little bit of storage under here which is for rugs that i don't use all that often or old ones that are still usable in an emergency they sort of sit under there um, and then over this side we've got my saddles, we actually have a new one coming tomorrow which is very exciting. Um, so I've got them all sitting here and I'll have an extra one added on to the end um, that we've got to do. So this is Storm's competition rug. Um, now you won't see Stormy in many videos, he doesn't compete um, anymore but he's my best mate and my, my number one horse and he always will be. Um, and so that's why his rug is sitting here in our tack room, um, we had a lot of fun together. I'll insert some photos of him um, for those of you who haven't seen him. Um, but we had a lot of fun and we went all around the country with him in this rug. So that's sitting in here um, as a reminder of all the fun that we had together. Um, and I've got my saddles, they've each got their girth 
um, sitting on top and then all of my straps, like my rubber band and everything that goes across my foot, that's all attached to each saddle. So I'm not having to swap and change. They've all got them all. Um, this is my spare, my old show saddle. So everything kind of gets piled on here that I don't use all that often. So a spare couple of girths, spare half pad. Um, and then coming along here, this is where I keep my heavy rugs. Um, so we love horseware rugs. Um, and so I keep them all in their bags, um, just keep them clean and they're so much easier to store like that. So um, yeah, they've each got a horseware rug, a heavy rug. So they go up there and then here are my like slightly lighter rugs. So these are like my 200, 150, 200 gram rugs. And then these are my heavier winter rugs. Um, got my lunge rollers obviously, and my Pessoas, one's horse size and one is pony size for Charlie. Um, then here is all my rain sheets. So I try and keep everything, everything's ordered in the weights of the rugs, which makes it easy for me to find, but it also makes it easy that when there's times when I'm in hospital or I'm away at competitions, etc., um, and people are coming in and doing the horses for me, I make sure everything's here so that even when I'm not here, I can tell people exactly where everything is, um, which makes it easier for them. And then I know that it's right as well, obviously. Um, so these are their rain sheets. They've all got one each folded there. Um, lunge ropes and my bungee, so all my lunging stuff here. Um, here is my Fat Max. Now this fits in the float normally, um, but when we're not out competing, I'll bring it back um, in here because I plat horses for clients and things like that. And it's just too hard to keep unpacking the float every time I need my plaiting stuff, so that lives in here if we're not out competing. Um, then here are my saddle blankets, um, just a rack that we got from a friend that has been <laughs> very useful to us. Um, and then under there I've got a couple of spare saddle blankets that I don't use and um, my massage pad, uh, lunge roll, uh, yeah, roller pad. Um, this is my whiteboard. So. I've got three that are in full work. One, um, Kiwi has just had his kissing spine surgery um, this week. So he's back in full work five or six days a week now. Um, and then the other two are in full work um, as well. So having three in full work, um, I can't remember who's done what and, and everything. So I have this board um, that tells me what they did on what day um, and I can keep track. So obviously that's this week that we're on currently. And then I'll leave that there so that next week when I put the week in and I can see what we did the week before, etc. And then once they, it's full, I'll erase it and start again. Um, it's got a competition calendar and also everything that I need to know about worming, farrier, when they last had the Cairo, etc. Um, and then this is a bookcase that I actually had in my bedroom from when I was like really little. Um, and we repurposed it when we moved house, so it's in here now. Um, and it's pretty much got everything else. So everything that doesn't hang. So I've got, um, these are spare paddock boots slash can be used as float boots. And all of my bandages and bandage pads um, live here. And then these little boxes, if I can get it out without ripping it. Um, so this one has got all of my, like kind of like bits and pieces. Um, it's not really a first aid kit as such, but um, it's got everything that I might need like that, like gloves, um, spare vet wrap that doesn't fit in my actual first aid box, um, cloths, um, yellow lotion, hairspray, just random bits and pieces. Um, and then these two here are for my work boots. So just got multiple pairs of work boots that live in these two. Um, and then this one here is my bell boots, um, which is getting pretty full. So we're going to need overflow soon. Um, then down the bottom here is stable boots and um, float boots. So um, their stable boots that they wear every night are out front of their stables. They've got racks out the front of their stables. Um, but these ones are either spares or like Kiwi isn't wearing his at the moment. So his are in here. Um, then I've got the helmets along here. Um, that's my show helmet for when we used to do show horse, so that lives in here, but it doesn't really ever get used. Um, and then my work helmet. So I've got one that's waterproof, this one doesn't get used anymore. One that's waterproof, um, and then this one is obviously waterproof, but it's um, like, a, like a suede kind of material. Um, and so it just gets wet and takes much longer to dry. So this one is harder um, and like a fake leather, so that 
Try it's much easier. Um, then I've got my quarter sheets, one waterproof, one that's just polar fleece, rib vest, um, and then down here is my, well, part of my whip collection. Um, <laughs> so being a power rider, I use two whips all the time. My whips are, well, replace my right leg. So um, I have to use two whips. So I have multiple sets of whips. There's about another five or six sets of whip that live in the float <laughs> as well. So um, I have spares for all of my spares. Um, and then we've just got spare, um, gaiters and spare girth points down there. Um, this box here is all of my tack cleaning, tack leather stuff, um, which is near all of my saddles and everything, so I can grab that. Um, this shelf, I keep my woolens, so at the moment we're just coming out of, of winter, and although we're nearly at the end of spring, um, it's still very cold overnight, so all of their woolens are actually yeah, still out front of their stables because um, I'm still having to use them, but this is a spare woolen, spare woolen hood, um, and then just a lot of cotton rugs. Um, my tail bags are all here in a pile together, um, and pony hoods, so I keep the pony hoods separate from the hoods that the boys wear, um, which are either cob or full, again, just for organisation, so I know that all the pony sized ones are here, because they're never going to fit Kiwi. Um, and then down the bottom is kind of all my little extras. So I've got like cooling sheets, uh, which again don't get used all that often. Um, and then spare lycra hoods, so Kiwi's lycra hood, um, tail guards for when we're going away, all of that sort of stuff. Um, here is my bridal um, racks. So this isn't all of them. Um, the rest of my show bridles that have like the blingy brow bands that when we did show horse they all live in the float in a big um, bridal bag but these are my dressage and, and work bridles. Um, here is all my spare leather so basically just we've got a martingale, got a spare set of reins, um, lots of spare flash straps, that sort of stuff. My spurs live here and then these two are just work bridles that don't get used. Um, but they've come in handy when I've had things break and etc. before just to have bridles that are all there ready to go if we need. Um, then I've got Kiwi's bridle, so he's just got his snaffle bridle. Um, Stormy is the only one that's in a Miklum. Um, and again, so he's got his. This is a spare bridle that Charlie came with, so it's the only spare pony bridle that I have. The rest are all full, so um, I keep that here in case I need a spare snaffle for her. Um, then here is Charlie's snaffle bridle, Charlie's double bridle. She's the only one I have at the moment in a double bridle. So um, that's her double, which stays set up as a double and her snaffle that stays as a snaffle. Um, and then I've got the two oranges. They have their competition halters because when I got these, Stormy had already retired. So he didn't need one, unfortunately. Um, but this is their halters that have their name and their number because they have to wear their number when they're at a competition, um, so it's much easier to have it on there than trying to remember to put a bridal number on their halter and everything. It's just easy, I know it's there. Um, this saddle here doesn't get used. Um, I've tried to sell it and no one wants it. Um, so it's actually the first saddle I bought with my own money. Um, and it was one of those packages that you get the bridle and the saddle blanket and everything all included. Um, but yeah, I was, I don't, I don't even remember, 16, 15, 16. And it was the first saddle I bought with my own money and I had to save up for ages. So, um, we have that kind of sitting here cause it's just a nice little decoration. Um, and it's also, you know, it's the first saddle I ever bought on my own. Um, and then here are my spare bits. There's not many here because they're mostly on all of my bridles now. Um, and there is one more somewhere that I think is in the float again with the show bridles. So um, anyway, there's a couple of spare bits. Um, and then again, more cottons. We love cotton rugs. Um, I use cottons all year round. So even uh, in their, under their winter rug, because they've got cottons under woolens, they've got cotton, like we have a lot of cottons. Um, <laughs> and then here, so these are all the boys' cottons and there's a couple of kiwis on that other shelf. Um, and then this is all of the boys' hoods. So there's, I don't even know how many hoods there, lots of hoods, um, which again, they wear hoods all year round, unless it's really hot. Um, these are my polar fleece rugs with my polar fleece neck rugs and polar fleece hoods. More polar fleece rugs and then my mesh summer rugs, which are really specific to just 
summer I'd never use them unless it's like over 30 degrees they don't get used so they sit down there out of the way of everything um, and then lucky last we have um, a photo wall um, so this was something I really wanted to have in my stable um, when we were sort of laying this out I really wanted to have somewhere to um, have photos so that when you you know you have a bad ride or even you have a good ride um, and you just it's nice to just come in and see the memories and have kind of a reminder of why we do this when it's pouring with rain and freezing cold outside and I'm soaking wet um, and so yeah this is um, not every photo I have obviously um, but these are all of the big competitions we've gone to so these are either like state titles um, nationals uh, there's one from when I took Stormy to Equitana in Melbourne. Um, so yeah, we just try, I try and keep it to the big competitions and then um, just my everyday like random competition photos, etc. They're all um, hanging up um, around the place, around the stable. Um, so yeah, this is my, my photo wall and they've all got the little name of the competition and the date and where it was if it was interstate. Um, and yeah, so anyway, that is my attack room. It's not all that fancy, but it's got <laughs> everything I need in it. Um, it's all organized, it's all clean, it's all neat. Um, and yeah, we're pretty happy with it.